Hello everyone, my name is Robin if you're new here and today I have a flea market haul to share with you. So I am very excited to share with you guys what I picked up at the flea market when I went this past Monday when I was in Hayward, Wisconsin. I go every single year to this flea market which runs um, Labor Day to Mo Memorial Day to Labor Day every single Monday. If you're ever in the area, you've got to stop and go to this flea market. It's always, I always find good deals there and I always find fun things there. And this year was no exception. Even though there weren't as many vendors this year as normal, I had better luck this year than I did last year. So it was a great time and I cannot wait to share with you what I brought home. But before I do, let me just remind you to like, comment, and subscribe on this video to help out my channel. And with that being said, let me share with you what I brought home. You guys, I don't even know where to start. I am so excited. All right, first of all, let's get my glasses out of the way. All right, you know what? Postcards. You guys know how much I love postcards and like vintage cards and that sort of thing. Um, I went to the flea market hoping to find new postcards or vintage cards, that sort of thing. I knew I wanted to look for that and I did a good job finding some. Um, I hit one booth up that had a ton of cards and I was super excited about them. Um, the first one I picked up was 250 and it came in a little sleeve and it actually ended up having two cards in it, which I was a little shocked at once I actually got home. But the first one is just this cute little card right here. It's a little Christmas card. Or no, wait, I'm sorry. It's a Valentine card. A little Valentine card. And it even has a cute little um, image on the inside as well, which I think is sweet. But what I really got this package for was this adorable Christmas card with a Santa on it. I just thought it was so cute. And then it does open up as well. And it's so adorable. I just love this. These two cute little kids right here and then the Santa Claus and I just loved it. So of course I wanted to pick that up. And then I found another set of cards. These went for $2.50 and there's two cards in this particular one as well. Um, the first one is a happy birthday card. It says happy birthday daughter. And I just love the red, white, and black motif of it. So I thought that was really cool. Inside's even got some nice detailing as well. And on the back of it, it says Hallmark from 1953. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then the one I really wanted out of this packet was this one right here. Oh my goodness. Isn't this super sweet? Oh, I just love it so much. Um, it says happy birthday. Have a happy birthday. And then inside it has a gorgeous little bouquet of flowers as well. And I just thought that was super cool. So then when I got up to the, you know, to pay for my items, the lady um, that was checking me out said, oh, this was my card when I was a little girl. I got it from her aunt and uncle way back when. And I was just like, oh my goodness, that is so amazing. So now I have a little, you know, story to go with my gorgeous little card. And I just love it so much. I just don't know why that, I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so that was really neat. So that was all the cards that I found. And then from there, I started looking at postcards. Um, the first one I picked up was a dollar. And I love the little blue flowered bouquet on it. I think it is so pretty. This would look absolutely gorgeous framed up. And I, for spring it says, um, with love on it. And I just think it is very, very pretty. And I thought that was cool. I, 1911 is the post stamp on the back, which is cool. And then with 4th of July and like Flag Day and all those kind of days coming up this summer, I found this card right here for a dollar. It's got George Washington on it. It's got the patriotic colors, and I thought this would be perfect to add into my, you know, patriotic decor for the summer. So this year, I am bound and determined to decorate my house in a patriotic decor, which is something I've wanted to do for years and years. And sometimes I'll get a few things up here and there, like maybe on a shelf in my living room, just real quick, like, like. <laughs> and, but more often than not, nothing gets done. And my spring decor goes all the way till autumn decor. <laughs> so this year I'm like bound and determined to get it done. And actually I will be sharing it this coming Friday 
for my summer home tour. So I got some work to do this week as I scramble to decorate my house <laughs> in like three days. So this beautiful postcard will be going into the mix and I am so thrilled about that. So anyways, so check back if you're looking for a home tour. There is a huge group of us that are doing it um, this coming Friday. So check back for that. I also found one more postcard that I wanted. I brought this up to the lady and I said I really want, I'd like to get the first one out of here. Um, I'm assuming that these are all $5 each. And she's like, well, no, they're $5 for, for all of them. And I'm like, what? Okay. So basically I got this whole thing of postcards for $5 because I wanted this very first postcard, which has these gorgeous Christmas bells. You guys know how much I love the Christmas bells. So I was super excited about that one. And I didn't even bother to look at the rest of the stack while I was there because I just wanted this one out of it. So then when I got home, I realized that it's got some very cute little ones in here. Most of them are like birthday ones. There's like two birthday ones. And then it goes into like Easter. So there's this one. And this one I think is really pretty. And then there's like a cross one. And then this one, and then so on and so forth. Those are just my favorites of this little bunch. So yeah, I got like, I don't know, 10 to 15 postcards for $5, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I was pretty excited about that. All right, so that was it for the postcards. All right, so then the next thing I found was vintage patterns. I am always on the lookout for vintage patterns. I look at them every single time I go to like the thrift stores and that sort of thing. But I have never found anything that's like earlier than like the 1960s. Granted, these are 1960s, I'm assuming, style um, patterns as well. But they were $1.99 each and I really liked them. So I picked them up. I picked up four of them. And some of these I think I can, you know, kind of tweak a little bit if I ever decide to make them um, to look more of a 40s style. For sure this one. Like this... Well, this one to me, it's obviously like 70s kind of, but it also has the kind of that the very streamlined look of the items and kind of like that military look, which is very popular in the 1940s. So I figured I could make this into something like that. You know, I could make it look 1940s. I like this pattern in particular because it has like the dress that looks like, you know, a jacket. And then it has a shirt and a skirt and then like a vest and a skirt. So I thought that was very versatile. I think that's very really cool. So I picked this one up. That was $1.99. I also picked up this one, which I think is super cute. Now I thought this was a full dress, but it's actually a two piece. It's a skirt and then a top. So I thought that was nice. A nice little sleeveless top with the, like the buttons going down the front. Very cute. I liked that one a lot. And then I loved this one too. This blue dress on this one is like screaming out to me. Now this is 1960s probably with the big, you know, full skirts. I just think it's super cute. And this one also, oh no, this is a full skirt, but it also tells you how to make the handkerchief for your hair. So <laughs> just in case you needed that. So I was excited to find that one. And then this one, the very last one was a wedding dress one. There was two wedding dress ones and I picked the one that I like the most. Very simple design, like this. This one I picked, I think, above the other one because the other one didn't have a train. This one has the train on the wedding dress. Very simple, like empire waist and lace overlay on the top. And I just thought it was really pretty. I mean, I just thought it was gorgeous. So I don't know if I'll ever make it, but it would be kind of fun to make, you know, myself a vintage wedding dress. I think that would be so much fun. All right, so that is it for all, like, the paper items. The next thing I found was a dollar, and it is this adorable little baby bottle. I think it is so cool. It needs to be cleaned up. It's got a metal lid on it. This was a dollar, which I thought was awesome. I can't tell the maker of it. It doesn't really say... Maybe ZZ, I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, but on the side you can see where it's got like the little ounces and stuff. And I just thought it was super adorable. I love little bottles and that sort of thing. So I figured this little one, I don't have an actual baby bottle. So I thought this would be a good little 
um, addition to my collection of bottles. So I thought that was fun. <laughs> so the next item I picked up was $3, and I think it is so cute. It is a milk glass egg cup, and it's got a cute little red chicken on it, and it says, good morning, and, he's got, and it's got like little music notes and stuff. Now the crazy thing about this is that I saw this exact one at the same booth last year. So I'm pretty sure it's the same thing that they had out last year and I passed on it. And I kicked myself. And I, when I was walking in <laughs> to the flea market on Monday morning, I'm like, if they still have that rooster egg cup, I'm totally getting it. And they did. I couldn't believe it. I snatched it off the cut off of the counter so quickly. I was like, oh, this is totally mine. And I love it so much. I think it is so cool. I love the little chicken on it. I love that it's red and white. I love that it is milk glass. And I think it's super cool. So I wish they would have had two of them. That would have been really cool. But there was, alas, only the one. So I will be happy with that. <laughs> All right. And then, um, speaking of like little tins and stuff, um, I found a little tin. Prince Albert tobacco tin for $3.00. These little tins come in so many different sizes. I thought this was a good size for my cubbies in my kitchen. So I'll add this into the mix of things that are going up there. I thought for $3, so that was a good score. So this next thing that I picked up for like my cubby area in my kitchen was this little guy right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that very well, but it's actually a little cardboard box. Of, it's a little makeup item. It says Maybelline on it. I love that it's a red box. I think it is so cool. Um, the, I can't really read what it is or what it was. And you can't really tell from the inside either. But I am thinking it was some sort of little makeup item. <laughs> and I thought the box was super cute. So I paid $5 for it, which is probably silly of me. But I think it was adorable. So I will add that to the mix of red and white items in my cubbies as well. <laughs> I don't know why I bought that. That was really not probably a very good thing because it was $5. That seems a little high for such a teeny tiny thing, but I don't know. I was just drawn to it, so I got it. <laughs> I have found another item to go in my kitchen because it had that red and white and it's old packaging, and it is this Quaker Oats container. I can't remember how much that was. Oh, it was $4. And I just love the yellow and the red together, with little bits of navy on the sides. I just thought it was really cool. It's in excellent condition. It still has the lid. And so I decided to pick it up. <laughs> I will try to figure out a place to put this in my kitchen. I think it'll be a little fun little display for the kitchen. So probably the shelves in my kitchen somewhere. <laughs> So this next item that I have to share with you, I'm pretty sure is not vintage, but it was such a good price that I was not going to pass it up. It was $4.75, and it is this little thing right here. Um, I have seen these used for mug holders. I have seen them used to put bottles on them, that sort of thing. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it, but I thought it was cool, and I've always loved them when I see them in photos, people using them. So I thought for $4.75, I can have my very own to like decorate with. So I am hoping to find a place for this right away because I think it'd be fun to put like different bottles on it for like the summer months for a little sparkle. <laughs> so uh, that was a really fun find. I almost passed it up thinking, oh, I don't need to pick that up right now, but I did anyways, and I'm so glad that I did. So, <laughs> all right, so this next item, I was totally thrilled to find. Uh, I've never found them in the wild to actually buy, but I'm always on the lookout for them because my friend Nicole from Nicole North Garden has got a really big collection of them, and I just love the way she uses them, and I think it would be so much fun, plus they're red plaid, and <laughs> I love me some red plaid. And it is this amazing thermos, which I paid only $3 for. Can you believe that? It is in excellent condition. And why they were only paying or selling it for $3, I have no idea. I mean, I looked inside and it's not even like, you know, like the glass insulator on the inside isn't broken or anything. It looks in really good condition. So I was like super duper thrilled 
to find this, and I think it is so cool. I cannot wait to use this somewhere. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to style it, but I think it looks lovely, and I love it very, very much. So I have two more items to share with you, and they kind of go together. I found them at the same booth, and I was like, what? I couldn't believe it. Um, I don't know that they're actually vintage, but they have that vintage vibe, and the price was absolutely perfect, so I had to pick them up. And I'm not sure what you call these things, but they're enamelware containers with, ah, with the lid that goes on it. So then you get, you know, is it a roasting pan? I don't know. To me, to me, I want to call, I want to call them like enamelware fridges, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like this is a big one. You could probably roast a chicken in this or something like that. But, but then at the same time, you can put the lid on it and stick it in the fridge and like, you know, whatever. So I don't know what they're called. I mean, I really don't know what you call these things, but I know that I love them. <laughs> I think they're super cool. So this black and white number here was $5. Can you believe that? $5. And I could not pass that up. So of course I was just like, Actually, my sister was at the booth, and she's like, Robin, did you see those? And I'm like, I saw those from, like, across the way, and I came running over here. <laughs> so, yeah, I am super excited about this. This is a pretty big one. Nice rectangle. I have a lot of the black and white enamelware as well, so that will go nicely in my kitchen. So, sitting on top of the other container was a red and white one, which is smaller, and this one was only $3.00. So, of course, I had to pick it up. It's got, you know, the same thing with the lid on it. I would assume this is probably like loaf pan, meatloaf pan size, something like that. But it's got the red edge on it, which I think is super cool. So, anyways, for $8, I got both of these, and I am thrilled, thrilled, I tell you, about those. So, I'm not quite sure where or how I'm going to use them. Um, does anyone actually like, let me know if anyone actually uses these to like bake in. I have never done that before. I have used teapots before, like to boil water on and stuff like that. But I've never baked in one of these before and I just don't know. Also, I would love to know if you could tell me what they're actually called. Are they actually like, is this like a loaf pan with a lid on it so you can store stuff in it? Or are they like refrigerator boxes? I don't really know what they're considered. I need to look it up and I just have not done that yet because this week is kind of crazy. <laughs> but anyways, I am super excited about them. I'm super excited about everything that I found at the flea market this week or this year. And oh, it was such a good time. I want to go back. <laughs> so that is what I picked up at the flea market this past Monday when I was up in Hayward, Wisconsin. Great items, great prices, totally thrilled with what I found, and oh, I had such a good time. I want to go back again. <laughs> I know that it's there every single Monday throughout the summer, and it's three hours away, but I want to go again. So if any of you want to go on a little, <laughs> a little trip, <laughs> let me know. I could be talked into it. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I really appreciate being able to share my love of vintage items with all of you. Um, I get excited about them, and I think you guys do as well, um, which is probably why you come and watch these long, drawn-out <laughs> hauls of mine where I'm just chatting away. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That would really help out my channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, check out the end screen. I will link last year's flea market haul there for you in case you missed it. So you can check out what I picked up last year at the same flea market. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye now.